Charlie Brigos here with our zoo guest of the week, and our zoo guest keeps moving towards me. And I told Charlie, <laughs> don't tilt the container because um, he's a feisty one. He is, uh, <laughs> and it's an emperor scorpion. And and I know I'm not that brave because uh, I'm not holding yeah, it or anything. Yeah, you'll hold anything, but not that. <laughs> but um, but it is venomous. Um, um, but um, with emperor scorpions, I think they're just a little bit more uh, scary than anything else. Um, they have uh, very large claws, and uh, they're probably one of the largest. Uh, uh, scorpions and then we're gonna we have a little thing so sometimes with the UV light not sometimes all the time with the UV light you can see them glow and we're gonna see if you can actually Let's glow see. for us uh, you can kind of see it it's kind of hard to see let me go let me pick it up and um, there's the scorpion it's a little hard to see there uh -huh. I'll tip it over there you there go. There he is. You can there see him a little bit. There you go. right at the corner. Yeah, he's right at the corner of the bucket. Right at the corner. Oh! <laughs> and I guess we could turn him on already. That's so cool. And, and um, that's one of the ways people actually can find scorpions when they're hunting for them. Uh, you know, yeah. for people that are enthusiasts. Yeah. Is that you just run a UV light and their exoskeleton glows. And that's something that's very unique to scorpions. And it's all species of scorpions, not just this one. Um, and it's really it's really cool. And they, there's kind of, people don't know exact, exactly why, but... Um, but it, it happens. It's just one of those nature well, things. Well, that's good for us because, like you said, if you're hunting or maybe if you're just in your backyard and you want to make sure you don't step on one, you could be carrying one of those slides. Exactly, exactly. Very cool. Well, you guys have an event that's coming up this weekend. There's so much going on, and it's um, for Earth Day. Yes, since Earth Day is today, and we usually don't have um, something going on because if people are in working or in school, yeah. so we save it for the weekend, so we do um, Party for the Planet. So um, it's pretty much just doing an Earth Day. Um, all of our activities are uh, centered around conservation. Um, educating people about recycling and other things they can do to beautify their home or their other environment. It's from 10 to 3 and it's free with your regular um, paid admission to the zoo or if you're a zoo member it's um, free for you. So of course Charlie you'll be there because you're at all these events. Yeah. <laughs> I will actually be there um, helping out with some of the events and running around so um, if you catch me I know Feel free to say hi. Well, say hi. And, and yeah. uh, last time I went to the zoo, I've been there several times, but the last time I went was the first time I got to visit with you. Uh -huh. And you're just such a great tour guide. You know everything <laughs> about the animals. Well, I try. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's, we're very excited, and we love um, inviting and touring people around the zoo. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, Charlie, and I'm glad that none of us got injured today. <laughs> <laughs> and stay with us. We'll have a last look at your forecast straight ahead.